arranged seven different bottles that contain seven different clear liquids. The first one is fractionated coconut oil. The second is water. The third is white distilled vinegar. So this should behave much like um, apple cider vinegar. The fourth is witch hazel. The next one is 80 proof vodka. And so if you think about something being a proof, if you half it, that's the percentage of um, ethanol, which is um, E-T-O-H is my shorthand for it. Then we have isopropyl alcohol, which is a rubbing alcohol, and that one is also diluted. And then the last one is Everclear. And in North Carolina, this is actually the highest percentage of grain alcohol that you can buy off the shelves at the ABC store. You can also get perfumers alcohol, which is, um, I think it's nearly 100% ethanol. Um, they do control sales of 100% ethanol. Okay, this is a really old sample of German chamomile that I bought a couple years ago, so it's nearing the end of its use. Um, however, it's still good for cleaning. And what I'm gonna do is drop four drops into each of these bottles and then shake them and give you the video. But then also after that, I'll let everything settle out. So the reason I'm using German chamomile is because it's such a dark blue that you'll really be able to see the difference between the liquids and that essential oil. Okay, so I have dropped German chamomile essential oil into the top of all of these. And so I have not touched them yet. So you can kind of see that it went into um, solution with the rubbing alcohol fairly well. Um, so if you don't mind the smell of isopropyl alcohol, this might be a good choice for using with uh, room sprays and things like that. I personally don't like the smell of isopropyl alcohol. It reminds me of um, injections and things like that. So um, I usually don't use that. And the um, the scents that I sh that I sell, I don't use isopropyl isopropyl alcohol. Okay. So I'm going to pause it and swirl them and then do a quick shot and then I'll shake them and do a quick shot and then I will leave it alone for 15 minutes. Okay, to give you kind of a quick look going down the line, this is what you're looking at. So that one that kind of went into solution fairly easily is the isopropyl alcohol. That's the rubbing alcohol and it kind of has a cloudy appearance. On the right, this has gone into solution fairly well, um, especially compared to this one. This one is the vodka. So you can see even with vodka as a dispersant, things are still in globs. They're little droplets. And so just with swirling, that's not going into solution. So if you were just to spray this on your skin, you're going to be getting droplets of essential oils directly on your skin. Everclear is much more in solution, but you can still see droplets swirling around, so I would still not spray this on my skin. And again, there's this kind of cloudy weirdness there. Okay, then going down the line, this is fractionated coconut oil, and this is actually what most people use to dilute their essential oils. And even if I shake it really violently, you can see there's nothing happening. And holding it in the light, let's see if I can do that you can see that everything is really well diluted. And that's because essential oils are not water soluble, they are fat soluble. The next one is the water. So I'm gonna shake it really violently. And what you can see is that all those droplets will kind of shake around a little bit, um, but then they'll essentially recongregate together because they are not water soluble. And the other thing that I want to point out is on the tops of the glass parts, see if I can get it in, there we go. So there's drops of water and there are also drops of oil kind of clinging to the outside of the glass. So if you're drinking your essential oils, really think about this image. The next one is the white distilled vinegar. And again, before I shake it, this has been swirled and you can see there's a little bit of essential oil coating. Okay, um, excuse the varying volumes, it's just because I poured them freehand. So again, these are all of the liquids. They've been swirled and shake, shaken. Um, I am going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Um, as you will note right now, um, these four have a distinct essential oil ring. Um, 
These two don't. Um, again, the one on the end is Everclear, and the one next to it is isopropyl alcohol. And sort of these are. This is the control. This is fractionated coconut oil that will definitely dilute down the essential oil, and this is water. Setting the timer now.